Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Well, 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 Georgie Georgie shows up. George Soros, uh, the so-called uh, Hungarian philanthropist and uh, hedge funds or something, investor, something like that. Uh, he is the guy who uh, is called like that, but we can call him differently. We can call him a the Hungarian Jew speculator uh, on the stock market. Sounds better? All right, and sponsors of, sponsor of certain revolutions here and there through his uh, NGOs and uh, through his, uh, what's that, open society, um, whatever is that called, association or, you know what I mean? I can remember the term, open society, something. So this is Mr. Soros. Uh, I have here an article from uh, Sputnik and it is from um, the 7th of November 2022. This is the title. Soros or Soros tops list of individual political donors for year after uh, giving Democrats $128 million data. So he is the greatest individual political donor for a year. Uh, he gave the Democrats $128 million. So billionaire George Soros topped the list of individual political donors for 2021-2022, contributing more than $124.4 million to Democrats, according to data from nonpartisan election funding tracker Open Secrets. <coughs> Oh my, all right. Soros, head of Soros Fund Management, contributed a total of $128,475,971 to Democrats for the annual period and no money to Republicans. <laughs> okay. Open Secrets said on Monday over $126.75 million was outside money, according to the data. The second biggest contributor was Richard Will Wichlin. I think that's how you uh, pronounce it. Uchlin, it's U-I-H-L-E-I-N of Uline Incorporate, who gave 80,692,100 168 dollars to republicans open secrets said so these guys gave 80 million to republicans and the other one gave 126 million to republicans to uh, democrats so do you need this amount of money to win elections that tells you something about how they are uh, you know <sighs> anyway can't say too much the National Association of Realtors, wow, topped the list of political action committee contributors for the annual period, giving $1,656,500 to Democrats and $1,681,500 to Republicans. So it gave what? A little bit more about $30,000 more to the Republicans. Open Secret also said the contributions, the contributions came ahead of the 2022 midterm elections on November 8th, during which con control of both an US House and Senate will be contested. Who cares? Democrats currently hold a majority in both chambers. Whatever happens, we have the same sponsors. The Georgia Senate race between Democratic incumbent Rafael Warn Warnock and Republican challenger Herschel Walker topped the list of races by total money raised with $142,723,030. So $143 million for a Senate, Georgia Senate race. Without that amount of money, you can be smart, courageous, good, charisma, 
this, that, doesn't matter. However, by total money spent, the Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania state race between Republican candidate Mehmet Oz and Democratic candidate John Federman, by the way, another Zelensky guy, another kosher guy, tops the list at 133 million. $337,396. Guys, you wanna uh, run? Make sure uh, you got that charisma to fool this many people and businesses to donate. Otherwise, you have nothing to do there, regardless how good looking you are. <laughs> so, the I'm gonna make reference to the idea that, oh, they're fighting for the Senate and um, House and who's gonna be and who's gonna take. I think that it doesn't really matter. And I made my point clear on many occasions because this is how I see these things. We have, we, uh, we are allowed to have two options. Why am I saying are allowed? Because there's no other that uh, actually is, okay? You can start your own party, but as we look at it, uh, besides the, the um, Socialist Party in the 30s, there was no other third option, viable third option as a party in the United States of America. Remember? Uh, and then we have this. Uh, was it Debs? I think the, the Socialist from the 30s, 20s or 30s, Debs, W something, Debs, I think that's the guy. I can't remember. I think that's the white guy. Anyway, he went away. He got the other communists. Uh, the other communists got the power. Uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, who eventually after four terms, he was, come on, take some drink here for me. Okay, drink it all. Come on. Okay, now, now you go and sit with your mistress over there and uh, you should be a okay. All right. So uh, that happened <laughs> and, and he was uh, sent <laughs> to heavens. Now, regardless, that's the way I see it. We have here in the United States these two big parties and they are sponsored by the same guys behind. You say, well, you see over there that was Soros on one side and the other one on the other one. Okay, well, that could be one or two. But if you look at other interests, they donate on both sides. More here, less here, more here, less here, depending on who's who, what's what. And remember, when they get elected, they're gonna listen and pick up the phone that you're gonna make, right? To tell them what you want. No. This part is here. As I said, there are two. Uh, uh, identical twins. One of them has a mustache and the other one doesn't have a mustache. That's how you can see who's who, what's what. But they have the same biological parents. They are the ones who feed these two biological uh, uh, twins here, identical twins. So regardless who's the one who's crying uh, louder, is gonna be fed by the same parent which is certain kind of interests that are really behind all this beautiful country that allows us to make a choice, um, giving us the two options. So they give us the guys and they say, okay, uh, Emil, we gave you idiot and we give you uh, stupid. Pick one of them. Well, I don't wanna pick any. Well then, um, don't complain. Yes, I complain, these are two tards. Why should I? Because that are the, they are the options offered to me by the parents, all right? And I'm supposed to elect out of these two tards. That, that's the way it goes here, okay? And they tell me that I have a say, yes, to two idiot and stupid who are put forth for me to choose from. None of the above. I don't want either of those guys. But that's the way it is. And they say like this, well, if you don't participate, then don't, then don't complain. You know, I do complain. I take it the other way. Everything that goes bad in this country, I would point it to you, voter, who voted for that idiot. So when something goes bad, I say, see, I didn't endorse that idiot, you did. So you are responsible for him. Next time, choose wisely, my king, or don't choose at all, all right? Because those guys do not deserve to be there. They are perversions of leaders. That's what they are. My, uh, you know... Uh, humble uh, assessment. <laughs> Thank you very much for being with me again today. Uh, good job, George Soros. Pump money only on one side. <laughs>
Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.